יום השישי ויחול לו שמיים וארץ, וכל צבעם, ויחי אלוהים ביום השביעי מלאכתו אשר עשה, וישבות ביום השביעי מקום מלאכתו אשר עשה, ויברך אלוהים את יום השביעי ויקדש אותו כי בו שבת מקום מלאכתו אשר בר אלוהים לעשות, סביר ענן. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהים לכל פרי הגפן. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהים לכל העולם אשר קידשנו במצוותיו ורצבנו בשבת קודשו, בעבר זכר לנו וזכר למעשה בראשית חיל המקרא קודש. זכר ליציאת מצרים ושבת קודשך, בעבר עזר חלתנו, ברוך אתה אדוני, מקדש שבת. Zondagmiddag was PSV-voetballer Erhan Zahavi niet thuis in Amsterdam buiten Veldert, omdat hij een wedstrijd zou gaan spelen. In zijn afwezigheid hebben twee mannen zijn vrouw en vier jonge kinderen. De oudste is pas acht jaar op een zeer brute manier overvallen. De daders wisten binnen te komen doordat een van hen zich voordeed als postbezorger. En ze hebben niet alleen Zahavi's vrouw, maar ook de kinderen. Shit happens in life, but if you let it just take you out from your way, then you are weak. If you if you step over that, we have to show responsibility. We have to show mentality if we want to make a step forward. And the solution is to, to choose the easy solution and to fly home, or to choose the difficult solution and to stay and to fight with your friends, to fight with your club. I think I made the right decision with my wife together, and uh, I'm happy that I did it. Israel flag. Don't hey guys. Be last week, eh? Yes, of course. My mate cannot be here, but we have a pen for you. Oh, thank you. If you like it. Thank you very much. Open you it. want me to open it? Yeah, if you want. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. Nice ones, nice. Open with the shirt, and you know it. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. <laughs> When I came here, I just I bought a sports car, you know, because I was sure I will live in Eindhoven, close to the pitch. Because in the first month I was in uh, Valkensbad, you know, and then after two weeks I said to my wife, "Listen, uh, we are living in Amsterdam. I changed my car because I, I don't really like it, you know. I don't really like. I feel like uh, everyone is looking and oh, nice car and everything. Okay, this is also a nice car, but." I just sit comfortable, and the noise is not in my <laughs> on my ear. I, I I couldn't talk by phone, you know, because the noise was too. And I found myself screaming by the phone, and I said, "No, this is not for me. I'm sorry. It was nice for for a month, but I brought it back to the company, you know." PSV's nieuwste aanwinst is gepresenteerd. De spits Eran Zahavi. I've been in this country a long time, but. Uh... My first impression uh, from uh, PSV and from the training is uh, the facilities is amazing. The, the players, they got me really as a family, also the club, all the people. Uh, I really feel uh, comfortable and uh, I just want to, to play as soon as possible and to, to give them back. Now it's, everything is okay, but uh, I was struggling in the first months. It was different culture, to be honest. Uh, in PSV, of course, uh, the pressure for title uh, is high as well. And uh, also the, the place I played in, in Maccabi, uh, it was high pressure for titles. But in PSV, it's also very special because you have pressure from titles, but you have also pressure to sell young players and to, to improve the young players and to support them and to, to really... Uh, uh, they really give attention to young players and to, to push them to play and to play well. And sometimes I think also this pressure on these players uh, is not good for them, you know? Not that they are not good players, they are top players, because 20 years old to have the quality they have, I didn't have it in this age. So, but you also need uh, to have the right uh, pressure for them. 
and in the right moments because it's not easy to handle a situation in PSV when you need to compete in Europe, you need to compete in, a, in the league and, and to be successful, to, to be in this expectation in so young age, it's not easy. I'm sure this was one of the decisions of the coach to, to, to bring me to this team and uh, to, to bring some uh, experience to the team and uh, some uh, good attitude of uh, habits of work. In the end, you need to adapt the situation all the time. All the time you need to adapt a new situation, every game and every, every training session. If you like it, so you need to get the benefit from that. If you don't like it, you still need to do it and to, to have the passion to do the things that you don't like. Because this is the, the difficulties, to do the things that you don't really like. And of course, if everyone do what they like, we will never improve because we will always stay in our comfort zone. And when you're in your comfort zone, you never improve. This is Shabbat dinner, you know? So the house is full of food. You will see the table full, see people around the table. We we'll enjoy the dinner together. I'm a religious guy, but not the most religious guy, you know? So, especially when you live out of your country, so we try to, uh, to make some tradition uh, things that, you know, keep everyone together. And also here, you know, you have uh, many Jewish, but uh, we are everyone from other places, and we are doing another things. So, in the end, it's some uh, connection that you feel uh, sometimes when I'm here on Friday, I, I feel like I'm in Israel, you know? Israeli music, Israeli food. It's keep your connection to your roots, you know, and it's very important for me. And we enjoy it, and also, you see, she have quality, huh? <laughs> for me, I'm used to it, like, from 13 or 14 years old, I'm... Uh, uh, you know, when you get uh, older, you, so you understand the religious, and uh, I, I don't remember my way without this, you know? So I just do what I like and what makes good for me. If in one moment it will not make good, not results on the pitch or out of the pitch. It's every game, like, uh, every game I'm not scoring is like, uh, it's frustrating, frustrating. I think you can ask in this game that um, we go to, to the stadium, then he put he score a goal. Then we are, yeah, yeah, and all of the, all the people look at us like this and say, hey, we are the happy family, yeah, we are here. So <laughs> we're happy for him when he scores a goal and we are sad if he's not. The first game against Ajax uh, was special for me, I think, you know. It was a discussion between if I go to Ajax or to PSV and some rumors in the media and things like that. And it was special for me to score two goals uh, against Ajax and uh, it was very nice, and, you know, on the pitch. You know, I can feel the tension uh, for both teams. You know? We want him to, to score a goal, to be good that, like he wants to be. So. I think they are more... Uh, they know what's going to be during the week and they get this, uh, like... Uh, they, they feel it, you know, because I'm disappointed when I'm not scoring goals or we don't win or we have a bad game or I take it personally, you know, too much. He always won it. Uh, even if he scored two, he said, I can make a three. So this is him. I like, uh, in China it was like this, in Israel it's like this, and here it's like this. He always want to be the best, more, you know, the best that he can. And if he know that uh, he scored two and he can score three, so for him, I need to score three. Two, I'm it's not good, enough. Good agent, eh? <laughs> he, I think PSV it was the best place for him in this time of his career, and it was the best choice. Uh, we live here because um, 
It's more uh, Jewish people and Israeli people, and I think it was easier for me than for him, um, for me and for the kids. So to live in Amsterdam, he make, a, he make this decision for the family, not for him. So I think it's more for me. You know, we've been in Italy, we've been in China, now we are here. Uh, it's not easy uh, to move to other countries and to get used to the country and the culture. But I think um, for both of us, it's very interesting to know other cultures. And, um, you know, we are Jewish, so for, for us also to, to let others to know our uh, culture, it's, it's very good. What I really like in the Netherlands, that I think the people who live in the Netherlands, they really like their countries, you know? So they're really proud to be uh, uh, Dutch, you know? She promised me that she's gonna buy a bike for the kids and for her, and she will take the kids every day with a bike to the school. No, I promised to buy a bike. I didn't promise to take them to school with a bike. I joke. <laughs> We didn't really have uh, contact with the fans yet, you know? Uh, so it's just sometimes when they're coming out of the uh, Erdang and we can, we can see, uh, you know, some, uh, some things. But normally, I, I didn't really feel it here, you know? Like, uh, because we don't have fans now. And I think uh, I miss this a lot, and uh, I think it can be a very good uh, connection. Uh, but in Israel, uh, for sure. For what I know, until now, it's much more, yeah. you know. Okay, in Israel, it's crazy, but... In Israel, in Israel you can crazy. walk with him on the streets. In Israel, it's crazy, I told you, but you, uh, I can't. it's nice. It's I nice. can't walk with him on the streets. It's very nice, and, and I think he misses it sometimes, no? Yeah, sometimes, but then you, I go for two, three weeks, one month, and then I get a lot of love and, uh, of course, appreciation, and then uh, we come back to reality, and uh, we live our quiet life, and it's also nice. But they recognize her in Israel uh, not less than me, you know? <laughs> so she's also famous in the streets. So she can walk alone and to find difficulties as well. You have a lot of players in Israel, um, but Iran, I think he did something in Israel uh, that no one did before. So like um, in what, no? No, continue. <laughs> <laughs> in uh, Maccabi Tel Aviv, when he played Maccabi Tel Aviv, it yeah. was um, it was a big. How do you say? She she wants to speak about the transfer from uh, because when before uh, I went to Palermo, I played in Napoli, and then when I came back from Italy, I I went. It's like I went. So he make the transfer and um, I think nobody believe him, believe on him. Like uh, Maccabi um, fans he, in the beginning, not all of them, but few of them, they didn't want him in the team, they didn't like him, and then he became the most uh, appreciate and uh, love uh, player. So everybody love him, everybody want to eat shirt. You, can, you, go, you go to the stadium and you can see everybody with number seven. Yeah, that's nice. So yeah, yes, I mean, it's very it's, nice. Yeah, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. You want to be a chef, right? Or a football player? But the most, what do you like the most? Striker? He always put me in the goal, you know, and I hate it. He always put me in the goal and he shoots strong. Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Shalom, Malachi Elion, Yimelech Malachi Amelachi, Makadosh Baruch Hu. The Shir. Malachem Shalom, Malachi Shalom. Do you know what I Thank <laughs> you.
We, we made a short version for you, you know? Normally it's longer version. <laughs> Normally a lot of people go to the synagogue and then when they come back, then they make this spray and then they eat together. And then it's continued for tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, nobody, nobody walks normally in Israel, so they go as well in the morning. And then as well in the morning, uh, after the synagogue, again, uh, uh, food and everything together. So all the Shabbat is everyone, everyone together normally, from Friday dinner till Saturday evening. Yeah? zou op de bank zitten. Die heeft het stadion inmiddels verlaten vanwege privéomstandigheden. En voor hem in de plaats speelt Maduweke. Dus inderdaad een hele hoop veranderingen bij... Een pijnlijk bericht, want hij was al in Tilburg, zat gewoon bij de selectie. Maar kreeg in Tilburg te horen dat er een overval op zijn huis had plaatsgevonden. Is hij heel snel in de auto gestapt? Ja, Iran Sahavi was dus afwezig om een nare reden. Hij was al bij het team, maar is snel vanuit Tilburg teruggekeerd naar zijn huis in Amsterdam. Toen bekend werd dat zijn woning was overvallen. When you followed me into my house for the Shabbat dinner and the, uh, the Jewish religious, you wanted to see it was Friday night and now we are on Thursday, so it's even not one week, it's six days and we are here again, talking totally in another way and another experience, uh, which, you know, sometimes this is life. You're going from so nice uh, evening to, to a shit situation. But again, this is like a roller coaster, you know. Maar we moeten een stap over. Ontzettend belangrijke wedstrijd natuurlijk voor de ploeg van Roger Schmid. Twee overwinningen en PSV is sowieso zeker van die tweede plaats in voorronde Champions League voetbal. Maar de ogen zijn natuurlijk vooral gericht op de Israëlische spits, op Iran Zahavi, die weer van de partij is. We don't really know how to handle this situation. Uh, we are in a really, really strange situation. And uh, of course, uh, I'm happy that my, my family, they were there for me uh, and I was there for them. And the club uh, was there for us as well to support for everything we need. But in the end, uh, my wife and kids, they, they deserve all the compliments because uh, They've been there. And uh, I'm happy that I, I went to the pitch. I'm happy that I came back to training and to the games because uh, I, I don't like to take easy solutions, you know. I don't like to take easy decisions. And the most easy decision was to, to go and to say, OK, the season is already over and to, to go. But uh, I think this is not the right way. If he wants to, to be professional 100% and also to show responsibility uh, inside the team that you Even in tough moments, you will be there for the team. I think it's important, so I'm happy that we did it. Negen spelers van Pex Volle achter de bal en toch de goal van Zahavi na een schitterende voorzet. En als je nog iemand hier in het stadion een doelpunt gunt na wat er in de afgelopen week is gebeurd, dan is het deze Israëlische spits. All the compliments is for her, not for me. But the, the attitude doing this, it was horrible for me. Is no no. No codes anymore for even for criminals. There's showing not respect. If you come for watch or for for something else, just take it and go fuck up. Don't act like that because uh, I don't want to go at details so much. But you know you you heard from police and things like that. So I can tell you that sometimes uh, when I hear it from my wife, it's it makes me really crazy and I, I'm really angry and really I want to kill someone when when I when I heard. Wat is what's de situatie exact? En weer eens, het is gewoon om te zeggen big thanks voor al de support we got. Want de easy solution was to fly home. Maar toen we got all the support from, from all over the Netherlands, I think, uh, especially the club, the players, uh, our neighborhood, everyone came with flowers. And so we said, no, we are not running away from the Dutch people from the Dutch country, we're not running away because the, we don't want to give them the feeling that uh, we blame them in something. Because really everyone shows solidarity and uh, we felt uh, really loved. So we said, 
this is not the moment to run away. This is the moment to, to step in together and to, to show them as well respect because it's not their fault. And I feel that all over the country, they feel really, really bad for what's happened. So we decided to, to show respect as well. Our house is always open, and this is how me and my wife uh, uh, manage our life. We always we love people in our house. We love to, to make a good hospitality. We we like we like people, but we will not change our way. This is our decision. We will not change our way, and we will not let anyone uh, that made some for me horrible, uh, crazy uh, crime for for. I don't care about the, the watch I said, about the jewelry. I don't care. I'm not the guy who always cares about money and things like that. For me, that the family is healthy is the most important. We will not let anyone from outside to affect our decisions. So they will not have any impact on that. Dit programma werd mede mogelijk gemaakt door de premium partners van PSV en Brainport Eindhoven.